Hello there, this is Jim Rogers, and I'm going to show you how to remove a copperhead from your landscape. I just stumbled on this guy around 1.30, 2 o'clock on a warm, hot day in the spring in May 1st, and uh, show you how to remove them without getting hurt yourself or injuring or killing the snake. So you can watch me as we go through this. Uh, he's in these containers here somewhere. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to move these containers back with a tool, one at a time, until we expose him. And I can barely see him, so let me move this plant out of the way. He's cuddled up in there. He saw me, and he went in here to hide. You can see him right there. His chubby little body. He's been eating rodents. So he's really your friend, it's just he has the ability to protect himself where other snakes do not. So I'm going to hook him right there gently and see if I can't tease him out. And he does not want to go out there, so we'll hook him a little higher. And we've got him. And I just gently move him over and put him in a bucket that he cannot get out of. Just like that. And then we carry him to a safe place and remove him from an area where they might harm somebody or, or get injured themselves. So he can continue on his life of eating rodents. Thanks for watching and I hope you learn a lot. Sometimes they'll jump off the stick. You just have to make sure they don't go into a crevice where you can't get them out. Uh, and just keep hooking them and bringing them back, hooking them and bringing them back until you get him relaxed enough. We don't want to upset them. First thing you want, the first thing is to never upset the snake because that's when they get in defensive mode. Otherwise, you saw that copperhead never struck at me. Thanks for watching.